Rabotai Chodesh Tov, another one of the Minhagi Avelut that we observe during Sfirat Omer is to, even for a young man who's not gotten married yet and hasn't yet fulfilled the mitzvah of Pirav we abstain from getting married during this Tkufa. According to Sfaradim, it continues until the 34th day of the Omer. According to the Ashkenazim, until the 33rd day of the Omer, like we've spoken about. If a Sfaradi by accident, sometimes they make a mistake and they set the wedding date for Lagba Omer, for the 33rd, even if it's the night of the 33rd, but the Avad, Manan Tuchon writes that they can hold the wedding then uh, since they can rely on the more lenient opinion of the Ashkenazim over there. Now, there's another Minag of the Ashkenazim that the Ramah and Mishnah Berah discuss in Siman Tav Tzadigimal, which is that they keep 33 days, but not from the beginning of the Omer like we do. They wait until after Rosh Chodesh, which means today and tomorrow. They're still getting married, they're still taking haircut, shaving, whatever, and then they keep the 33 days from, which tomorrow is the 16th day of the Omer, all the way until the end of, until Erev Shavuot, in which case um, they go take a haircut and prepare for Yom Tov. So again, there are different minagim in Am Yisrael. Uh, there's a question that the poskim discuss. Let's say now, today, an Ashkenazi makes a wedding today. According to their minhag, according to, it is a legitimate minhag among Ashkenazim. If we get invited, are you allowed to go? The halacha is yes, since the Baal Simcha is making the wedding legitimately according to his minhag, and it's really a seudat mitzvah, you can go, even though there's music and dancing, you obviously can't shave, you can go. Similarly, if a Sfaradi has a seudat mitzvah during Sfirat Omer, we're a little bit more mekeh, like I said yesterday, in terms of bar mitzvah, or siyum masichet, or whatever it is, to have it with music and everything. If Sfaradi makes it during the Omer, an Ashkenazi can also attend, even though according to this poskim, it could be a little bit more uh, stringent, but at the end of the day, it goes by the person making the simchaf, he's making it legitimately, according to his minagim and his poskim, it is permissible for members of the other communities to go and participate. Have a wonderful day, and once again, Chodesh Tov.